You know, we were preparing for the tapings, and he never texted me back. And I'm like, we're walking by this, and I'm like, just come in and look. And he literally looks at the iPhone like it's the enemy of the people. I have multiple phones. You held it with disdain. I have an iPhone also. I go. The guy goes. You could do anything on this. You could text. You can make a point. You could do anything. You could write jokes. You could record your shows. And Dave goes. Should we really play God? (laughs) <laughs> I had a couple of good lines, but uh, I, I I don't go past an iPhone two. I, I feel like you know that's pushing it because now it's like up to ten, right? You have an iPhone two? Like yeah? How many are like how many iPhones compared <laughs> Jamie, to Jamie Burst? How many iPhones compared to how many Rocky right movies are there? <laughs> <laughs> how many Rocky movies are there now? Because seven Dave is on the Mr. Creed's Rockies. Because now we have Dos Creeds. The second Do think, Creed is act now. I guess it is because it's working off of the actual um, narrative of Rocky. Do you hear Michael B. Jordan is talking about boxing Roy Jones Jr.? Yeah, I thought that oh, was a cool. joke. Oh, God, I hope it's a joke. Just straight up boxing, not yeah. like a Muay Thai? Listen, don't do that, Michael. Just don't do that. I'm, I'm sure he's a great athlete. He's a beautiful kid. He's got a great body. Looks like he knows how to box. When he throws punches, it looks like he really actually knows how to box. I'm sure he's a really good athlete. He's built like a brick shit house. Right. But boxing Roy Jones Jr. is a preposterous yeah. you don't idea. know how to get What's hit. What's the upside? Uh, you yeah. never work again or you become a boxer? You, you hang in there with him and you look like a hero. I mean, you, you clip them and hurt them. I mean, it is it is a humanly possible thing. Right. Like when two people are throwing punches at each other, that one of them can hit the other guy. But the downside, is, the downside is just ruined. Roy Jones Jr. is one of the greatest boxers of all time. Mm-hmm. And still, to this day, knows how to box. It's not like he forgot. How he old just, is he? He's pushing 50. 49. Yeah, he's pushing 50. Do you think do you and think somebody did someone challenged him? Whose idea was it? I think he was just talking shit. He was just probably being asked, like, who would you like to box? Who's yeah. your hero? I How many rounds, though? Exactly. Did that have to go a certain oh, amount? What, yeah, what exactly happened? Like that. He said he would, he asked him, who, who would you want to fight today? And he said, Roy Jones, he would probably beat me in his prime, but I'd probably fight him today. It's probably just like oh, that. Oh, that so. is an outrageous thing to say. Just an asshole thing to say. It's it's just, says George Foreman. Listen, it, it, he probably would kill you in his prime. I mean, the idea that he would just beat you. I mean, Roy Jones Jr., when he was in his prime, you were just waiting to see. He was in a, a Nas song. They said Roy Jones is in the new Mike Tyson's Roy Jones. It's in. This is like in, in the 1990s. People forgot how good Roy Jones Jr. was. He was putting his hands behind his back and then knocking people out. He was doing ridiculous shit. He knocked out light heavyweight champion Virgil Hill with a body shot. Do you want to hear it so we, so we can hear the context? Okay. Because it's only a, <laughs> sure. Let's listen to it. Let's so I heard that you, after all your training for the Creed movies, yeah. you can hold your own in a fight. I mean, I can do my thing a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I've been working out with Rocky. I've been working out with like you know what I'm saying like Apollo Creed. I'm doing my thing. Absolutely. So now, who all time would you want to step into the ring with? Whether it's a boxer, wrestler, UFC Man. fighter, anybody? Like Roy Jones, bro. Roy Jones. Roy Jones. That's my dude. Bro. You think you can hold your own? I feel like I can do my thing a little bit. Yeah. I can hold my thing right now. In his prime, nah, he'll probably knock my ass out. But like right now, I can do my thing. Why answer Ooh, that question? That's a yeah, qu- well. Listen, he was. Uh, hey Joe, were you funnier than George Carlin in his prime? Can you well, just answer right that now, in the middle of right the street now, right I now? Can do my thing <laughs> right now, since he did. I know you've had a few drinks in the restaurant. <laughs> can I, I ask you the coke. worst question? Let me tell you, you something right now. I'm on coke, <laughs> cocaine. Let me answer some questions. I'll fuck Roy Jones Jr. up. <laughs> That, but but he, he said, said he was training with Rocky. That was the best part. And Apollo Creed. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't even know their names. <laughs> he doesn't know. The old dude. The old dude. <laughs> the black guy and the black guy. I, I mean, with my I loved him in uh, Black Panther, too. He's awesome. He plays a good superhero. He's plays a great a bad guy. guy. I love his movies. He was a good bad guy in that movie. But, you know, like, it's like, you just shouldn't answer that. Just made a mistake. Yeah. You know, young, cocky, full of life. Looking Everything's going breath. well. You know, and again... <laughs> Built like a goddamn superhero. Probably yeah. thinks he could box the world. This is just a different thing that's going to be happening if you're standing in front of Roy Jones Jr. It's a different thing. He's he's got a computer that's many many times you bring Roy jo- more robust than yours when it comes to boxing. But just taking the punishment, it's not like you know. It's like okay, that's well, enough. It's what if Roy is, Jones Jr. just gives you a concussion and you never act oh my again? God. What's the upside for you? He can tee up on. By the him. way, a 50 year old boxer looks at this actor, pretty boy, and it's oh like uh, when they brought yeah. when they brought. Um, What's his name? Out of the box in Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I mean he's Jack though. Look at him. Dude's built like a seriously built like a superhero. Wow. But see the thing is like, 
there's such a giant difference between learning how to box and being a good athlete like he clearly is and being Roy Jones Jr. The 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 gap is so wide. It's so it's like if I did a, a movie about p- playing basketball and then I wanted to you know play a one on one versus Kobe Bryant. You know I've been playing this movie for a couple of years, man. I'm feeling <laughs> uh-huh. good. I'm feeling good, even though I never. Did any competitive basketball plan? Like you were in the white shadow. It looks or something. like he got beat up. It's <laughs> he's like in he's a movie. <laughs> he's a movie star, bro. He's got fake blood on his well, that, welts. That, that was in the movie. I'm sure he knows how to throw his hands. I'm sure he does. He looks good in the movies. He looks like he really knows what he's doing. But Roy Jones Jr. is one of the greatest of all time. He was a phenom. He knows how to box in a way that you're never going to understand. So how long has he been since he boxed? Ten years. I mean. Roy Jones had a fight within the last two years. Wow. I think his last fight was, I want to say it was two, less than two years ago. I think he retired. He had a bunch of fights over in Russia. He actually became a Russian citizen. This year? Is that it? This year. This year. Jesus February. Christ. Play some of it. Oops. Play, so he's play, not just play, challenging play so can, a retired boxer. Dude, he's challenging he's, a boxer. He's fucking Roy Jones Jr., all right? Just... This is a different thing. It's one thing if you're like a top level pro right now wow. and you feel like you would have got knocked out by Roy in his prime, but you can give him a go right now. Okay, that I, that is that's believable. You're a professional boxer. You've been honing your craft in the gym for years and years. You've been sparring and working with high level coaches. Look at him. He's still Roy Jones Jr. Still Roy Jones Jr. Even though he's forty, I mean, he's come still on, boxing. Man. It doesn't matter. He's, I mean, he's boxing. And one's an actor. Good. One's a boxer. But Roy Jones is in a boxing match here, and he's looking good. Right. I mean, he's obviously not fighting a guy who's the best in the world. So if you're Roy Jones Jr., do you call your, your agent right now? And yeah, he's already been saying it. it. See he's if the kid's serious. It. What's yeah. the money? Do it. He's already been doing all these interviews. Yeah. He said, like, I don't want to get out, out of bed early in the morning, but if, if, you know, if he wants to really do this, we could do this. I mean, <laughs> for Roy really Jones, cool. it would be a, a wonderful opportunity to show people what boxing is all. Oh, let me see what he said. I would love to see that. <laughs> here, let's see what Roy says. Of course, I saw the video. First thing is, you know, I never ducked a fight in my life. I don't duck nothing, right? Never. No, I ain't running from hurricanes that come down here. So I ain't running from nobody. If Michael B. wants this for real, contact Roy Jones Jr. and we will make it happen. Yeah, see? You got my number. He can contact you and get my number. So there's no question about how can I find <laughs> No, you know how to find Roy. You I've already been apologizing. Get Roy's number from TMZ. Let's make it happen. Right now, he said in the video, he said, I think he would probably have killed me back in his prime. That's true. <laughs> How about now, though? Do you actually well, give him any chance to beat you now, even though you are 49, Roy? I, don't, I know he can't beat me still because, I mean, I know he's probably in better condition because he's younger and he thought he can go, probably think he can go longer and probably thinks he may be able to even out work me now. But I'm a vet. I'm an old school That's vet. That's right. <laughs> old school vet ain't going out like that. To have the heart to come in the ring with me, I love it. You understand me? So I, I want to understand what boxing is. So I'm not out there just taking him out right away because then you don't get the experience of the boxing. Uh, I'm a professional like I am, and I know he's big and strong because he got stronger for the movie. Then I should be able to board all that, take him in the deep water so he understands what a boxing match really uh, is. Yeah, so he's exactly. he comes out. He don't want quite to say, oh, I got knocked out the first round. He so wouldn't I don't give know. his whole No, 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 no. I'm going to you off that easy. I'm going to need five, six rounds at you. So I want you to see how it really feels. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm talking like that. Not because I think he can really match my skills. I really don't, even at 49. How long would you need, Roy, to get right to where you could step in there? Like, what's the soonest we could make this fight happen? I uh, probably need, for him, about four or five weeks. It's on. (laughs) It's on. Michael, please listen to me. Don't do this. Someone call StubHub. Just don't do this. (laughs) This this is not going to work out well, especially if they're, I would assume both of them are not going to be drug tested. Mm-hmm. <laughs> guess. I don't think either one of them wants to pee in a bucket. <laughs> and uh, if they if they just let Roy, if they let Roy go to Doctor Feelgood and, yeah. and pump him up with hormones. This is going to be a route. This would be terrifying. Imagine this is Michael a new call, getting that call from his agent. Hey, uh, we have an offer for you to do this like new superhero movie. It's going to be amazing. And Michael's like, ah, I'm, I'm booked that whole five mm-hmm. weeks. Yeah, I got it Wait, for what? five weeks. I got to train for Roy Jones Jr. Like, don't. 
do it. But, but this it, is a new you, this you is a know. new genre of TV show of the real guy versus the guy who played it in the movie. <laughs> well, I want to see doctors against guys who played a doctor. I want to see astronauts against guys who think they're an astronaut. I want to see it all. Tom Hanks versus John Glenn. Yeah. Navy SEAL from a movie versus yeah. real Navy Dinosaur SEAL. Dinosaur versus chicken. I want to see it. Isn't that what Mark Wahlberg said if he was on the plane? Yeah. Down? Oh. Spy versus... Did he, did he really say that, though? Yeah. That's what everybody says. Oh, he said, I, I never heard. 